engineers have created the world's first bionic hand that can grow along with its wear. Researchers at the American company Gomard Scientific have created a robot that completely copies a living five-year-old boy. It can follow with its eyes, cry, experience shock, and much more. The world's first chatbot from Amazon has gone out of control. It started giving harmful advice and sharing corporate secrets. China is developing a satellite internet and promises performance and power higher than Starlink. These and other high-tech news in one video. Engineers have created a bionic arm that can grow along with you. People lose and continue to lose limbs in wars, natural disasters, and due to various illnesses. There are a huge number of people in the world to whom relatively recent prosthetic technologies have offered a ticket to a new life. Engineers from the company Open Bionics have already made a global impact. One notable feature of their developed arm is its adjustable sleeve, increasing functionality, which grows along with its wear. 23-year-old Daniel Melville spent most of his life without one arm, finding it difficult to come to terms with. After engineers from Open Bionics agreed to create a bionic prosthesis for him, his life changed drastically. Now Daniel can hold things, greet people, and perform other everyday tasks. This was the first custom-made 3D printed hand prosthesis. Using cutting-edge technology, scientists scanned his healthy left hand and created an artificial one based on it. The printing process took over two days. As Daniel was accustomed to managing without his right hand, adapting to the prosthetic became simultaneously an emotional and educational experience for him, particularly because he had to get used to the realization that he could shake hands, give a high five, and do much more. Usually I had to go for a hand casting and then wait for several weeks or months to receive the prosthesis. I had hundreds of them because I was growing and they constantly needed replacement. The prosthetic device allows for easy size adjustments, said Daniel. Now the prosthesis can grow along with you, he added. The main feature of these new prosthetics is that they are very lightweight and offer great freedom of movement. Thanks to advanced 3D scanning and printing methods, a perfect fit is insured for each specific patient and the manufacturing time is reduced to practically one day. Researchers from the American company Gomard Scientific have unveiled their latest creation to the public, a robot designed to train healthcare professionals using various medical instruments. This robot named HAL resembles a five-year-old boy and provides an avenue for incorporating new training technologies. HAL looks and acts like a young child. It can follow a finger with its eyes, answer questions, cry, call for its mom, and even simulate an anaphylactic shock. It can also exhibit signs of fear, such as breathing faster or wetting itself. Its purpose is to assist doctors and nurses in learning to perform specific procedures such as measuring blood pressure and pulse and monitoring breathing. During training with the boy, real medical equipment can be used, including electrocardiographs, heart rate monitors or blood pressure monitors, syringes, breathing tubes, and scalpels. How can be resuscitated using a defibrillator, and its throat can be cut to insert a tracheal intubation tube. During training, doctors can also draw blood from a boy, insert urinary or thoracic catheters with almost real blood pouring out of the tube. The boy can even flinch when a needle is inserted, simulating the movements of a real young patient. During the creation of HAL, the developers decided not to use complex and naturalistic features such as freckles or hair follicles. They were concerned that in the event of HAL dying or experiencing a heart attack, it could potentially cause emotional trauma to students practicing on HAL. The Amazon Q chatbot provides harmful advice and willingly shares corporate secrets. The Q chatbot does not comply with the manufacturer's claims about increased protection of user data. It leaked AWS data center coordinates. The AI assistant also provides inaccurate and potentially damaging responses to queries related to legal and other important information. Media outlets have gained access to internal Amazon employee correspondence discussing issues with the recently introduced Q chatbot. During the presentation, developers stated a responsible approach to product security, especially data protection. It was presumed that Q would prevent the leakage of critical information by not using customer data from Amazon for training. The bot discloses even Amazon's own secrets, such as revealing the locations of the company's data processing centers. It also informs users about upcoming AWS products that have not been officially announced. This is particularly ironic, considering that Q was designed as a corporate product that large and medium-sized businesses could 
rely on. The AI assistant is prone to hallucinations, no less than other models of its kind. Sometimes Q provides inaccurate and potentially hazardous responses to sensitive questions related to law, finance, medicine, and market analysis. According to an Amazon employee, some of the legal answers could give genuine legal professionals a heart attack. Amazon denies any leakage and states that they have not found any security issues. Amazon Q is currently available for free preview use. It is positioned as a safer and more accurate version of ChatGPT for corporate clients. Soon it will be able to edit code and provide sources for quoted information. The product will be priced more competitively at $20 instead of $30 for similar offerings from other companies. The Japanese company Skeletonics has unveiled a new model of its own developed exoskeleton called Fighter. According to the description, it features the most advanced motion synchronization system to date, allowing seamless coordination between the operator and the robotic components. Theoretically, this system could enable a person to engage in combat in a ring, delivering strikes and evading them in a timely manner. In practice, however, the Skeletonics Fighter appears fragile for real battles, lacking any pilot protection, raising doubts about the exoskeleton's combat capabilities capabilities. Nevertheless, the Japanese engineers were truthful about the synchronization aspect. As the mechanical suit indeed boasts an impressive number of degrees of freedom, the speed and precision of the manipulator's reactions to the pilot's actions are also remarkable. However, concerns arise about the exoskeleton's power, questioning its ability to lift even a brick, let alone handle real loads. A notable characteristic of Skeletonics products is their massive size, standing at 2.5 meters or more in height. This distinct feature sets them apart and attracts attention, contributing to the successful appearances of the Arrive exoskeleton model at Muse concerts since 2020. On the other hand, developers are consistently working on simplifying and cost-reducing the construction. Their goal is to make exoskeletons readily available in stores as ordinary tools for use in gardening or the garage. Today, China has announced the completion of the first phase of establishing an orbital satellite communication network aimed at providing high-speed internet to China and several countries, participating in the Silk Road International Cooperation Organization. According to the Chinese Aerospace Science and Technology Corporation, overseeing the project, the total capacity of the satellite network is expected to exceed 500 gigabits per second by 2025. The network includes satellites such as China Sat 16, 19, and 26. Interestingly, the entire satellite constellation is positioned at a higher orbit compared to, for example, Starlink satellites. As a result, each satellite covers a larger area, contributing to smoother communication across the entire network. While low Earth orbit satellites have advantages such as high communication speed and low latency due to less signal loss over shorter distances, they are better suited for tasks like high-resolution video transmission and financial data exchange. Additionally, in case a satellite in a higher orbit is disrupted, it has a more significant impact on the overall network's performance and the cost of low Earth orbit satellites is lower. The future trend is expected to involve the coordination of satellites in both high and low orbits. The first network will provide overall coverage, while the second will address regional or industrial needs. China is set to further develop its low Earth orbit satellite constellation with 6G equipment to effectively compete with Starlink. If you found something new and interesting in this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the Caro Show channel. Also, check out our previous videos. See you soon.